How to Sell on Creative Market. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebOS. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sell on Creative Market. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly go to creativemarket.com. Or you can simply click the link on the description below. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page in which it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know this platform, Creative Market is an online marketplace that connects independent creators with customers looking for high quality digital assets and creative resources. And this platform offers a wide range of creative assets, including graphics, illustrations, fonts, website themes, templates, photos, and other design elements. These resources are typically used by designers, marketers, entrepreneurs, and hobbyists to enhance their creative projects and make their work stand out. And now that we know the background info about this platform, the next thing that we need to do is to go to the footer section of this platform and from here, just click Affiliate Partner Benefits. In which from here, it will show you about the benefits that you will get upon joining to the affiliate program of this creative market. And it says here that the commission that you will get is 20% for new customers and 10% on returning customers and 30% on membership signups. And if you scroll down below, it will show you other benefits and feature that this platform offer, such as it will help you to build your empire, support the creators, and many more. And now the next thing that we need to do is again go to the footer section of this platform and just click Shop Benefits option. And you will be directed on this page. And from here, we can now start opening our shop by clicking the Open Shop button below. But before that, let's start first by knowing some of the details before opening shop in this creative market. And from here, it will show you some of the perks of being a shop owner on this platform, including to have a network of 10 million members, no exclusivity lock-in, no per-product approval, and you can even set your own prices, instant delivery, and other benefits of opening your own shop. And below the details, you will see some of the tools that will help you to manage your shop, including the track stats in order to track the statistics of your shop such as your revenue and your orders. And you could also keep up with a customer in which you can stay in touch with your customer with the help of the tools on this platform. And of course, to manage support, that simple messaging system to respond to your requests. And below here, it will show you some other niche within different kind of categories. We have here graphics, fonts, illustration, templates, and many more. And now to open a shop on this platform, just click this open a shop button in here. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, to create your account, you can use your email address in which all you need to do is to fill out all of this required information. Or alternatively, you can sign up using your Facebook or Google account. And after signing in, you will be directed on this page in which from here on the top panel, it will show you some other option that you can navigate and below is the trending categories. And to open a shop, kindly proceed by clicking open a shop on the top right corner and just click the button below here. And you will be directed on this page and all you need to do is to fill out all of this required information including the category on products that you want to sell. We have here graphics, templates, fonts, and many more. But I'm going to choose photos. Well, below that, the next thing that you need to do is to share a URL of your portfolio. But if you don't have a URL link of your portfolio, you can create using the platform called dribble.com. But before that, if you don't know Dribble, it is an online platform and community designed for designers illustrators, artists, and other creative professionals to showcase their work, get feedback, and connect with other like-minded individuals. And this platform allows users to upload their design work in the form of small images or animated GIFs, also known as shots. And these shots are often focused on showcasing specific aspects of a design, such as logo, illustration, user interface, or website design. And to sign up on Dribble, just click the sign up button on the top right corner. And you will be directed on this page in which from here, you can continue using your email address by filling out all of this required information. Or alternatively, 
you can sign up using your Google account. So I'm going to continue using my Google account. So kind of click on it. However, you're also required to continue with email address by clicking on continue with email. The next thing that you need to do is to enter your username and create or generate your own password. And after that, just check the boxes below that indicate that you agree to the terms and condition of Dribbble. And then proceed by clicking create account button below. And you will be directed on this page in which from here, you could also set up your profile by adding your location and by choosing your profile picture. Well, the next step is to select your answer based on the question, first things first, are you here to hire? So just click no and continue. And then for this question, just click yes and continue button. And from here, just also proceed by clicking the continue button below. And after that, you are now at the dashboard of Dribble, in which from here, you can now start creating your portfolio by uploading your first shot. So you can choose a media files from your computer with a minimum of 1,600 pixel and a maximum amount of 10 MB while 20 MB for videos. And after uploading a media files, all you need to do is to publish the media files that you upload or you could also customize on the right side panel using some of the editing tools such as text, image, video, and many more. Aside from that, you could also change or customize the title of it. So let's say I'm going to enter advertisement photo and then proceed by clicking the continue button on the top right corner. And after that, the next thing that you need to do is to publish your work. Just click publish now button below here. And upon clicking on it, it will show you that your work has now been published on Dribble, And you can see your work below of your profile. So just click your profile icon and you will be directed on this page. And from here, the next thing that you need to do is to click or copy the URL. And after copying, just go back to this creative market and paste the URL that you just copy from Dribble, in which the URL contain your portfolio. And after that below, just select your answer to their question. Do you already sell digital assets online? And if you answer yes, below here, all you need to do is to select a site and enter the URL of the digital assets that you sell. Well, if you click no, just proceed by clicking the next button in here. And upon clicking on it, the next thing that you need to do is to select some of the answer on their question. The first question is which option best describes your motivations for selling products on creative market? Well, the next question is how would you describe your experience level as an online seller. And for the last question, which best describes your plan for marketing the products on creative market? And after selecting your answer, on all of those questions, just check the boxes below, indicate that you agree to the terms and condition of opening a shop on this platform. And after that, just proceed by clicking submit application button. And for the one last step, is to verify your identity based on the email address that they will send to your email inboxes. So just go to your email inbox and verify your identity based on the email that they will send. So just click confirm email in here. And after that, it will show you that your application has now been submitted. And all you need to do is to wait for them at least one business day to set up your shop. And after that, you can now start selling on your shop. So that is just how to sell on creative market. Thank you.